Hi everyone, my name's Travis and today it's a classic power flow linking our body and our breath. Thinking of the word vinyasa in which we understand in the English translation to mean to place in a special way. So as you move around your mat in this dynamic flowy sequence, place yourself in a special way with precision, poise and purpose. Blocks are always handy, um, should be all we need today. Let's begin extended child's pose. Big toes touch behind you, knees open out wide, settle the hips back towards the heels. Take a moment in an upright position and proud the chest out, draw the breath in and then roll down and bow down to your practice. Bow down to yourself and let your, let your body simply rest here. And letting your eyes close down and giving yourself some space now. Thank yourself for making time to get on the mat. Thank yourself for your beautiful breath, your life force, your energy. The positive current of the inhale breath, the pranavayu. It's an uplifting breath and the downward current of the apana vayu, the exhale breath, the letting go breath. Positivity draws in through the nose. Negativity exits through the nose. Filling up a few more times with the inhale, full of positivity, joy, and happiness. And draining the excess, the negative, the downward current exhale breaths. If your forehead makes contact with the mat, you're welcome to rock left, right across the third eye center. From the soles of your feet all the way through to the crown of your head and fingertips, scan your body and see how you've arrived today on your mat. Notice the subtleties and the nuances and the areas of stickiness and resistance, areas of pleasure, power, presence. Encourage some harmony in our practice and create that beautiful balance. Press up to your all fours now, find your tabletop position, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Spread the fingers nice and wide, ground the shins and the tops of the feet as best you can. Create purpose here, draw the belly button in, press away from the earth. Gravity is not our friend here, it's bearing down, we need to be aware of it. Move through some cow and cat now, so tilt the tailbone up, open the throat, look up, and draw a breath in, and then reverse that. Dome the back, chin to chest, look back at navel center, press away from the earth, ground the toenails and the shins. Inhale the cow, exhale the cat. Inhale the cow, and exhale the cat. Close your eyes intuitively move through this for a few cycles on your own. Encouraging movement if there's areas that need it. Turning this into sexy cat whenever that starts to unfold for you. It's a playful, whimsical set of movements that feel natural and organic. And then I'll meet you back in your tabletop position. Fingers pointing forward, thumbs pointing towards one another. We'll warm up our fingers and our wrists. Lift the thumbs, lift the palms. Shift forward under four fingers of each hand, hinged at your first row of knuckles, and lift and lower the palms for five, four. So these little press up, three. You do a lot of typing. This is really super beneficial. 
And last one, palms down, thumbs down, and then sway from left to right across your upper back. Let's head through to downward facing dog. So place your hands a handprint further down the mat, tuck the toes behind you, and then lift the hips to the sky. First down dog of the day. So feel free to find a little bit of freedom to move and to shuffle and shift and nod and sway. But engaging with that row of knuckles that we just worked, feel the fingers wide, bed those knuckles down, neutral in your wrists and active in the arms, shoulders engaged, side waist lengthening and hips lifting. And as you find the legs now, feel free to have bends at the knees and high heels, especially if the hamstrings and gluteals around your buttocks are a little tight, especially since we're a little cooler, just sort of started. A nod of the head, look back at big toes, and then start to find a little bit of moment of stillness. And with a super slow tiptoe forward to the top of your mat, find your way to a forward fold. Your choice of a forward fold here could be ragdoll, could take your hands behind your back up to the sky, whatever serves you. I'm going to take fingertips to low back and then lift to sky squeezing shoulder blades. But if that's not for you, that's okay. And let's stay for a few moments and encourage some movement here, especially in the backs of your legs, bends of the knees, sways of the torso, whatever works. Encouragement now is to let the hands dangle towards the earth. Let the shoulders sort of drop out of their sockets and allow just this feel of freedom of like waterfall from your hips down. And tuning into those deep sensations along the backs of your legs perhaps. For some of us we have straight legs here or others bend the knees. Drawing the belly button in can help bring tummy towards the thighs. How slowly can you roll up to a standing posture, mountain? The arms can, can dangle the whole way, the chin remains to the chest, and it's as though you're unrolling, awakening into the presence and the power of a simple standing posture that requires effort. As we roll the shoulders, extend the arms beside the body, palms face your thighs, lift the toes and ground the four corners of your feet, and then gently return the toes to the mat. Feel the earth underneath you and let that energy transmit up through your legs as they engage and hug the muscles of the, around their bones. And then a neutral pelvis containment in the torso with engagement in the core. And a little bit of a tuck of the chin to the chest and a lift of the crown of head. You're standing tall, you're standing strong and you're standing aware. And then bring your big toes to touch, your hands to heart center and your chin towards your chest. A moment now to reflect, to offer, and to pause. And if Ujjayi Pranayama is in your practice, your victorious breath, let that textural oceanic breath be a lovely anchor for your movement and your body and your breath. If you're unsure, a little raspy inhale across the back of your throat, sometimes referred to as Darth Vader breath. And the exhale is similarly back out through the nostrils. And then upward salute, look up, lift up, rise up, inhale. And return to the earth and have a lovely flow, everybody fold, exhale, breath. Halfway lift, hands on shins, crown ahead forward, inhale. And then exhale, step back to your high plank and hold the plank. Same alignment as your Tadasana. So long and strong in the legs, contained in the core. Press away from the earth, knuckles ground, fingers wide, crown ahead forward. We hold for five. Four, think of the space between your shoulder blades lifting towards the sky or the ceiling above you. And we would like to stay for another moment. Lower your knees gently, cross the ankles behind you, draw the heels to the butt, warm up the backs of our arms, tricep push up. So look forward, lengthen forward, inhale, and lower halfway down, exhale, breath. Press back up, inhale, and then lower halfway down, exhale. We've got five of these. See if you can hug the elbows to skim past the rib cage, 
and lengthening along the spine so the crown of heads forward and away from you. Last two. And the final one. Lower the torso to the mat, uncross the legs, tops of the feet back on the earth, striking cobra, lift up. Come onto finger pads if that works for you, belly butted in, ground the tops of the feet, engage the kneecaps, return to the earth, exhale, breath. Table top, down dog, hips to sky, chest to thighs, look back at big toes. Slowly walk forward, top of mat, exhale, breath. Hands on shins, half inhale, and then fold, exhale, up to the sky, inhale, and return to the earth, exhale, breath, halfway lift, inhale, plant the hands, step back, high plank, exhale, round one, knees drop, chest and chin lower, slither forward to cobra, inhale, breath. And then exhale, return through tabletop, high plank, downward facing dog. Walk forward a little quicker now, exhale, breath. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, sky. And then exhale, earth. Half lift in. Exhale, step back, high plank. Continue knees, chest, chin, cobra, or high plank to low plank, halfway down. Inhale, shift forward onto tops of feet, upward facing dog, and then roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Meet us there. Lift your right leg on the inhale. Heel to butt, knee to nose, step right foot forward, and then follow it with the left. So both feet top of mat, halfway lift in, and exhale, fold. Sky in. And earth, exhale. Half lift in. Exhale, step right foot back, lower right knee. Palms touch in front of chest. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, sweep hands down. Plant them beside your left foot. Step back to high plank, low plank. Exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lift, heel to butt, knee to nose. Exhale, step forward, followed by the right foot. Half lift in. Deep fold, exhale. Inhale, sky. And then exhale, earth. Half on the in. Exhale, left foot back, left knee lowers. Palms touch in front of chest. Inhale, lift up, look up, belly button in. Ground the sole of the front foot. Frame it now. Step back, high plank, vinyasa flow. And I'll see you in down dog. Okay, options, walk, step, hop forward on an exhale breath. Meet you there, halfway. Deep fold. Sky. Earth. Half. Step or a little hop back. Plank, low plank, up dog, and then downward facing dog. A few breaths here and down dog. <clears throat> How does this down dog compare to the one a few moments ago? Is there a little more space down the backs of your legs? Maybe the heels are closer to the earth now. More engagement with your knuckles, more recruitment of the muscles around your upper arm bones. Ripple to a high plank pose and then lower to your knees and shins, untuck your toes, sit back on your heels. Sweep the hands back behind you, interlace the fingers and squeeze the shoulder blades. Lengthen the arms away from you, so knuckles pressed to the wall behind you. Bend the elbows, bring your clasped hands onto your left hip and squeeze the elbows and palms to touch behind you. So you're really squeezing in here, holding there for another moment. And then shift up onto your shins and step your right foot forward. Release your hands once more and extend them behind you. Take your right hand to your left hip and your left hand to the sky. Look up and reach up. Then both hands sweep up, palms touch. Bend the elbows, bring the thumbs to the nook of your skull and your neck and squeeze the elbows into your peripheral vision, lifting up and towards the sky with your heart space. Hands back up. 
sweep the hands to step forward, both feet forward and fold at the top of the mat. Then do a halfway lift, inhale. One more fold, exhale. <laughs> Sky on the inhale, pause there. Palms stay touching overhead. Cross the right foot over the left so pinky toes come to touch. Hold the right wrist and bend to the left. Peek under right armpit. Uncross the feet, palms touch overhead, inhale, return to the earth, exhale, breath, halfway lift, inhale, your cheeky vinyasa, take it, step back, high plank, low plank, up dog and down dog. Ripple forward to your plank, lower to the knees and the shins, sit back on your heels, Sweep the hands back behind you before you interlace, whatever feels unusual, opposite cross. Squeeze the shoulder blades, lengthen the arms, bend the elbows, clasped hands to your right hip this time. So there's the squeeze of the elbows and the palms touch. Shift to your knees, step your left foot forward, extend the arms once more, let go of the hands. Left hand to your right hip, Right hand to sky, just need to be mindful of the microphone back behind me. Look up and reach up, palms touch, lift, bend the elbows, thumbs help lift the heart as the elbows squeeze into peripheral vision. Hands up, reach up, frame front foot, step forward, fold, and then a half lift, inhale, and a fold, exhale. Sky, inhale, palms touch, stay overhead, cross your left foot over your right, hold the left wrist and bend to the right. Nice, uncross feet, palms touch, look up, lift up, inhale and your vinyasa, I won't take one here, let you do that and I'll meet you back in down dog so I can reorientate myself on the mat. From our down dog, we'll hold there, pausing, breathing, and finding a little stillness for a moment. Walk, step, hop forward to chair, exhale, breath. Sit down into that seat, sweep the hands overhead. So it's, an, it's a lightning bolt here through the body. Firm the weight into the heels as you draw the tailbone down towards them. Knit the low ribs in and engage with your abdominal muscles, letting the length come up through the spine and towards the fingertips. Fold on your exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, vinyasa, step back. High plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Lift the right leg to sky and hold there. Drive the heel back. Lift from the root of the thigh if you can. So really engage around the hip joint. Heel to butt, knee to nose, shift it forward, tiger curl and pause there. Dome through the upper back, press away from the earth. Inhale, three leg dog once more, leg to sky. Exhale, knee to right elbow, bring it forward and hold. Pausing, doming. Inhale, lift. Through the left elbow, so cross through your body and hold. It's a little twist there, more difficult. Inhale, lift. Exhale, heel to butt, knee to nose, step right foot to right thumb. Widen the stance and set it up and then arrow head. Reach back and squeeze your shoulder blades, but bring weight forward off the ball of the back foot, grounding your front heel. Extended arrow head, hook your thumbs, biceps to ears, reach forward and long length from heel to crown. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. It's our first, so let's just take a moment. Get our hips square, our belly button in. Draw the tailbone down towards the front heel and long and strong in back leg. Hold one more moment. Exhale, breath into warrior two. So do your dance of your feet. Find the shape that serves you. Flip it in reverse. Inhale, right hand to sky. Windmill hands, frame the foot. Step back to plank. Vinyasa. <laughs> And roll over toes, downward facing dog. Good work. Let's do all that again with that conscientiousness on the left side. So lift the left leg and pause. No need to rush. Yoga's a lifelong practice. Heel to butt, knee to nose, shift it forward. Keep breathing here, but bring the weight forward. Press away from the earth. Abdominals in. Inhale, lift the leg. Knee to left elbow. Out wide and forward, press away. Inhale, lift. 
and then through to the right elbow. So a lovely little cross of the body. Inhale, lift. Heel to butt and knee to nose. Step, left foot, left thumb. So there's the wideness, but take a moment to widen if you need. Arrow for a few moments. We're bringing weight forward, grounding into front heel and seeking the balance in our body. This left leg of mine is not as strong, so I've got to find more recruitment. Hook with opposite thumb on top as you squeeze the biceps to the ears and pull the thumbs apart. Inhale, up and rise to crescent. And if you need those alignment cues again, head straight there. Find it first. And then warrior two on an exhale breath. So open up, heart space, extending through to fingertips. Flip it in reverse, left hand to sky, inhale. Windmill hands, frame the foot, step back, plank. Vinyasa. <clears throat> <clears throat> Good job. Pause, breathe, connect. <sighs> Let go, remember, yeah? Heels lift, bend knees, hop, step forward, chair, sit down into seat. Sweep biceps to ears. <sighs> Holding for two. And for one. Fold, exhale. Half on the inhale. Plant the hands, step back, plank, your vinyasa. So high plank to low plank. That's one exhale breath. Then shift forward, heart forward, press away earth. Inhale, up dog. Roll over toes, downward facing dog. Good work. Okay, three leg dog, right leg to sky. And this time we'll yawn the hip open and get some freedom in the right leg to move in a way that feels good. Intuitive. And then back to three-leg dog, inhale, heel to butt, knee to nose, dome the back, one breath per movement, inhale, lift. This time go knee to right shoulder if you can, take it up high. And then inhale, lift. Through to the left elbow, pause, and then shoot the foot through for fallen star. So lift away, look up, left hand to sky. Nice, lower left hand, right leg scoops to sky. Inhale, breath. Heel to butt, knee to nose, step through, straight to arrow. Inhale. Exhale, legs is extended. Biceps, ears, reach forward. Inhale, lift to crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Flip it in reverse. Inhale, windmill hands and pause. Open twist. Left hand earth, right hand sky. Right hand lowers, right foot back, high plank, low plank. Inhale, up. And exhale down, dog. Nice. A round of breath here. Left leg lift, inhale. Yawn the hip open. Get creative in the hip joint, knee joint, ankle joint. And then three leg dog. Heel to butt, knee to nose, dome the back. Inhale, lift leg to sky. Knee to left shoulder, bring it forward. Inhale, lift. Knee to right elbow and then shoot the foot through to the right. Lift the hips to sky, belly button to sky. Press away from the earth. Lower right hand. Left leg lift, inhale. Heel to button in, no step through. Arrow, inhale. Extended, opposite thumbs, hook. Exhale. Inhale, rise to crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip it in reverse. Exhale, windmill hands, right hand earth, left hand sky, open twist. Left hand lowers, left foot back, high plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll over toes, downward facing dog. A hmm. few moments, a few breaths. Lift the heels, bend the knees, hop forward, chair pose, sit down into that seat. Let's hold for five. Recruitment in the core, length in the spine. Harvest the energy between your hands. You've got this, yogis, for two. And for one, fold, exhale, half lift, lengthen, inhale. Hop, step back, high plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, let's add on now. Last round, right leg sky, inhale. Yawn, hip open. How lightly do you land in flip dog? Arch away from the earth, reach the right hand forward. Lower right hand, right leg to sky. Inhale, knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, lift. Knee to right shoulder, right elbow. 
Inhale, lift. Knee to left elbow, pause, then shoot the foot through, hold, and a push up there. Then fall and star, left hand to the sky. Lower left hand, right leg to sky. Inhale, three leg dog. Heel to butt, knee to nose, step through. Arrow, inhale. Extended, exhale. Crescent, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Flip it in reverse, inhale. Windmill hands, left hand earth, right hand sky into clear patra from open twist. Look back, reach back. Right hand earth, pause. Right foot slides halfway down the mat. Hands on the earth in front of you. Lift the back leg into a standing splits and take three heel lifts of your right foot. That's your standing foot. Last one. Optional three limb chaturanga. So left foot steps back. Swing the right leg through to the sky. Shift forward, low plank, exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hey, we need a couple of breaths there. Hmm. Can you feel the rhythm and the pulsation of the pranic energy flowing inside of you? Let's do all that on the other side. Left leg lift, inhale. You're on the hip and how purposefully do you land in that flip dog? Nice and present there as you reach the left hand overhead. Left hand earth, left leg sky, inhale. Heel to butt, knee to nose, tiger curl. Inhale, lift. Knee to left shoulder, bring it forward. Inhale, lift. Knee to right elbow, and then there is, oh no, fallen star, sorry. <laughs> Sweep the foot through to the right, shift forward, and a push up, and then fallen star, right hand to sky. Hey, I film all my classes live, so <laughs> mistakes are going to be made. Three leg dog, left leg to sky. Inhale, heel to butt, knee to nose, step through. Arrow. Exhale, extended. Inhale, the crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Flip it and reverse. Inhale, windmill hands open, twist through to Cleopatra. Lower left hand, slide left foot halfway down your mat. Right leg lifts behind you. Heel lifts of your left foot. One, two, three. Step the right foot back. Swing the left leg to sky. Inhale, high plank, low plank, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hey, how about an extended child's pose? Lower to the knees and the shins. Big toes touch, sit the hips back towards the heels. Whew. Welcome to your practice. Five long, steady inhales. And big, deep, grounding exhale. So remember that energetic movement was the inhale is that upward lift, energetic current, and the exhale is the grounding downward current. Nice work. Lift the body back to downward facing dog and meet you there. Walk, step, hop forward. Feet are about hip width now. Take your peace fingers around your big toes. Seal off the grip with your thumbs. Find a halfway length, lift to lengthen forward. Inhale, then bend the elbows and get the biceps involved and fold forward here. And draw your chin towards your chest. Mm, Parahastasana. Monkey grip around the big toe. Elbows point to the walls beside you. Belly button in and up. Let go of the toes, bring the big toes to touch, chair, sit down into that seat again, firm the weight into your left foot and lift the right leg up and wrap it over and around the left as best you can. Hands on hips to draw the pelvis back to centre, squeeze the inner thighs and pause. Right arm out in front of you, left arm over top. Bind up the forearms or hold your shoulders. Fingertips might intertwine and the elbows lift to shoulder height. 
Press your forearms to the wall in front of you as your heart and lungs press to the wall behind you. So find more space between your shoulder blades, squeeze the thighs, sit the seat deeper, holding three and two. A warrior three variation with eagle arms. So bring the right knee up and uncross from the left and then sweep it back, hinging at the left hip, lengthening your right leg behind you and finding the forearm into twice interlace in front of you holding three maybe some bends in the left knee for a little bit of a squat action or draw the right knee into the left calf for three two and one nice arrow aeroplane I beg your pardon let go sweep back and then splits here plant the hands lift the right leg to sky hey you could practice those heel lifts you go to your favorite wall and find a little bit of hang time in a handstand, or perhaps planting your hands on the earth and lifting the right leg and see if you bring your left heel to your butt. And just pause there for a moment or two, and then step forward and fold forward at the top of the mat. Whew, that is hot. Nice, feels good. Hey, so feet are hip width. This time we're going to take the backs of the hands on the earth and walk the soles of the feet on our palms, tickling for the wrists. Spread the fingers wide. Start to press the backs of the thighs to the wall behind you. Draw the chin towards the chest. Let the head hang heavy between the biceps and the upper arms. Exhale, breath, release all of that. Big toes come to touch. Sit down into our seat chair pose. Find the drishti focus on the horizon. So let's stay here for a few moments and help yourself with the balance by staring at something. Firm more weight into the right foot. Lift the left leg up. Wrap the left leg over the right as best you can. If it helps to bring your hands on your hips and bring the pelvis back to center, feeling that deep, sense of twist through the lower body left arm first right arm over top second lift forearms up press them forward holding three two warrior three with eagle arms left knee comes up and then purposefully sweeps back taking your time finding the presence motivation to move in a vinyasa vinyasa like way Holding for three. Maybe those sort of knee to calves or just a little bend of that knee. Good. And hold. Aeroplane. Balance there. Good one. And then we find our way to those standing splits with those choices. So if we're going to a wall, Rotate around, plant the hands, fingers are nice and wide. So your left leg wants to kick up, but right heel comes to butt, right? So as it goes up, see if you can hold, avoid just hanging out on the wall. Let it be that little security blanket and then fold forward at the top of your mat. And then start to slowly roll back up. Let's come back to Samashtiti, hands at heart, chin to chest, reconnect. Ooh, can you feel the rhythm, the pulse, the movement? I sure can. Now root the left foot down, bring the right knee in and give it a loving tender cuddle towards your chest. Open the knee out wide, catch the right foot, and place the foot in the upper left thigh for tree. Press the foot into the thigh, thigh into the foot. Now feel free to place your foot wherever you wish. I just like it that high, if you can get it. Palms to touch, heart space. What better way to sort of bring ourselves back into this present moment than with this wonderful posture. From tiny acorns, giant oak trees grow. And allow yourself now that expression of how big and noble, incredible, full of wisdom a giant tree is. Let's 
finding that focus point on the horizon. Nice work. Step the right foot back down onto the earth and pedal it out, sway it out, move it out. And let's do it on the other side. So set it up, root the right foot down, bring the left knee and give it a lovely big squeeze. Open the knee out wide, catch the left ankle with the left hand, place the foot in the upper thigh, foot into thigh, thigh into foot. Find your focus, find something to stare at. Last five breaths. Good job. Now step the left foot down and at the top of your mat, just sway it out, roll it out, smile it out. Well done. Start to head into our release series now. So I'm just going to take the microphone off my back so that I don't lie down on it. All right, so coming to a chair, so sit down into the seat. And then with some uh, extending your arms forward, coming high onto your heels and just see if you can slowly lower the buttocks towards the heels, squeezing inner thighs, inner knees to touch, then lower to soles of feet and then lower onto your back and lie down. Ah, step the feet nice and wide, drop the knees into center and windscreen wiper the knees from side to side. <sighs> Take a bridge pose. Tickle for the heels with your fingertips. Feet are about hip width. You can open the toes out a little wider or they can be 12 o'clock towards the top of your mat. Scoop the hips up and lift the belly button up. Draw the chin towards your chest and look back along the line of your tummy. And lift and lower the belly button for a few cycles of breath. the spine, vertebra by vertebra, bone by bone, return the body to the earth. Shuffle yourself over to the right side of your mat, lift the right leg over the left and can you wrap it up in your eagle and then let the knees lower to the left and maybe cactus the arms and roll the head to the right. Maybe now's a chance to let go of any restrictive breath. Just let it be more natural pace, rhythm. the center and as we come through the midline of the mat let's take another bridge but this time reach for your block and at whatever height serves you highest medium or lowest lift the pelvis up and find the flat bone at the base of your spine the sacrum and allow the block to support that bone and then let the weight of the pelvis drop down onto the block
click there. Pedal this up, slide the block out from underneath you. Scoop yourself over to the left, cross the left leg over the right, wrap it up. Cactus the arms and then lower the knees to the right. Point the toes, extend the arms overhead, make a long version of you, big stretch, and then roll over onto your favorite hip in a fetal position. Ground yourself here, bathe yourself in love and gratitude for your incredible body. Thank you so much for, thank it for making it on the mat today. Swing up into a comfortable seat, whatever that is for you. Bring your hands to your heart space, chin to chest. 
Well done, congratulations, and thank you so much. Thumbs to your third eye. Loka, samasta suki no babantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Greet this beautiful version of yourself with the Hindi word namaste. Well done. Thank you so much for practicing. I hope you had fun. Leave a comment. Let me know how you went. And I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now.